This is PE at home lesson three for third grade. Still focusing on the physical fitness components. Today on muscular endurance. The equipment needed for this lesson, two water bottles with sand or dirt, and also a pencil and paper to take notes. Before we start our lesson for today, let's remember the what, the why, and the how of PE at home. What are we learning? How to stay physically active at home. Why are we learning it? Staying physically active maintains a healthy lifestyle. It is important to know that physical activity can take place in any place. And the how, how will I know I have learned it? Because by the end of today's lesson, you're going to be able to say, I can define muscular endurance. I can give examples of muscular endurance exercises. I can demonstrate muscular endurance workouts. And I can name different muscle groups that align with my muscular endurance workout. All right, lesson three objectives. So by the end of today's lesson, you will be able to say that I can list the five components of physical fitness. I can define muscular endurance. I can perform a workout based on muscular endurance. I can explain the benefits of muscular endurance to a family or friend. I can give examples of muscular endurance physical activities and exercises. All right, for your daily challenges, challenge number one, you're gonna review your heart rate and what is muscular endurance. Challenge number two, you're going to do a muscular endurance workout. Challenge number three, show what you know. And if you dare, try the bonus challenge. Send me your workout video using muscular endurance. Challenge number one, let's review cardiovascular endurance, specifically from lesson number two. So let's do a turn and talk. Right now, I would like you to answer this question to a family member. Where do you check your pulse? Go ahead and hit pause and share the answer with a family member. And then press play when you're ready to move on. All right, if you answered, carotid and radial arteries, that means that you were correct. All right, here's the next question. Now, if Sebastian is 32 years old, what is his maximum heart rate? Go ahead and share the answer with a family member. Press pause if you need more time. All right, let's see if you got the answer correct. Now, if Sebastian is 32 years old, his maximum heart rate should be 188 beats per minute in the abbreviation BPM because you subtract 220 with 32 and the answer is 188. All right, let's try another maximum heart rate question. If Juliana is 55 years old, what is her maximum heart rate? Go ahead and hit pause and share the answer with a family member. All right, if your answer was 165 beats per minute, or 165 BPM, that means that you got it right because you subtract 220 with 55 and the maximum heart rate should be 165 BPM. Now, in what target heart rate zone will you be if you're playing a game of soccer? Go ahead and share the answer with a family member. Press pause if you need more time. All right, if your answer was performance target heart rate zone, that means that you were correct. Okay, let's continue with our turn and talk. What type of heart rate can you check when you are doing a cool down? Okay, go ahead and hit pause if you need more time to show the answer with a family member. 
All right, here comes the answer. Recovery heart rate. So it is very important that you check your heart rate during your cool down. That's called a recovery heart rate, which means that you're trying to lower down your heart rate back to normal. And during cool down, that's called a recovery heart rate. All right, here comes the next question. What should you do before your workout? Go ahead and hit pause if you need more time to share the answer with a family member. All right, if your answer was warm up, then pat yourself in the back. Okay? Every time before a workout, you should warm up. It is very important to warm up before a workout to avoid any type of injuries, specifically to your muscles and also soreness. Also, a warm up is important too because your heart rate starts elevating slowly but surely. All right, here comes the next question. What should you do after your workout? Go ahead and hit pause if you need more time to answer the question to a family member. All right, if your answer was cool down, give yourself a double pat in the back. After every workout, you should cool down. That means that you should go ahead and put your get your heart rate back to normal, okay, which means it's called a recovery heart rate. A cool down should be slow and controlled. All right, if you are if you already know the answers to all these questions and then you're ready to move on to the next part of challenge number one. If not, I suggest you go back and review these questions so you're familiar with them during the show what you know part of this lesson. All right, so what is muscular endurance? So muscular endurance is yet another component of physical fitness. We already covered cardiovascular endurance, which was the first component that we covered, and now we're moving on to our second component called muscular endurance. Now, the definition of muscular endurance is the ability of a muscle or group of muscles to sustain repeated contractions against a resistance for an extended period of time. Now, I underlined the two words repeated contractions because when you're doing muscular endurance exercises, you are actually doing what we call repetitions or reps. Okay? Now, for example, if you are doing a shoulder press using weights, Every time you try one, it's called a repetition or a rep, okay? But in this situation, we could also call it repeated contractions. Now, before you begin your muscular endurance workout in challenge number two, you should know the following. Number one, make well, the muscular system and know the names of major muscles you'll be working on. So you should know the muscular system and know the names of the major muscles you'll be working on. Don't worry, I'm not gonna tell you to memorize all 650 plus muscles that you have in your body. Also, you should know tips on how to do muscular endurance workouts. I'm going to be naming them in a few minutes. You will also need two water bottles with dirt or sand inside. Do not use dumbbells or any type of weights. You're not ready to use dumbbells, at least not yet. That's why I told you to get two water bottles with dirt or sand inside. The water bottles are going to be your weights, at least for today. And you will split the workout in three different days this week. I will tell you more about this as we continue with the lesson. Now, this is a basic diagram of the muscular system. Please say muscular system. Now, the muscle groups are basically on your back, your shoulders, your arms, your legs, and your back. Okay? Now, there are over 650 muscles in your body. Keep that in mind. You will only learn muscle groups, which means the major muscles that are in your body. Muscle groups are the major muscles that you will be working on during the upcoming workout. 
Here are the muscle groups. Okay, let's start with the chest muscles. Those are called pectorals. Go ahead and repeat the word pectorals. Now the back muscles is usually called the latissimus dorsi. Go ahead and repeat the words latissimus dorsi. Now the back muscles also called the rhomboids, which is on the upper part of the back muscles. Go ahead and repeat the word rhomboids. Now the arm muscles are called biceps. Go ahead and repeat the word biceps. Now the biceps are in the front part of your arm muscles, but the back side of the arm muscles are called triceps. Everyone say triceps. Now the shoulder muscles, okay, there are a couple of them, but the main one that you're going to be working on is called the deltoid. Please say the word deltoid. Yeah, the abdominal muscles, which is the stomach muscles, are okay. One of them are called the obliques. They're on the side of your stomach muscles. Now the muscles on your buttocks are called the glutes. Okay, go ahead and say glutes. Now the leg muscles, there are a lot of leg muscles, but the main one that you're going to be working on is called the quadriceps. And another muscle group that you're going to be working on from the leg muscles is called the gastrocnemius. Go ahead and say the word gastrocnemius. For your muscular endurance workout, you're going to be splitting the workout in three different days based on each muscle group. Please do not do all the workouts in one day. I repeat, please do not do all the workouts in one day. We're going to split them up in three different days. The reason why is because you want to be able to rest the muscles that you did the day before on the following day. So we're gonna go ahead and do day one workout. That's today. Now, the workout that you're doing for today is going to focus on your pectorals, which is your chest muscles, and your biceps, which is your arm muscles. Now, tomorrow, your day two workout is going to focus on your glutes, your quads or quadriceps, which is on your leg muscles, gastrocnemius which is your calves or your legs as well. Basically, you're doing lower body workout tomorrow. And then the next day, which is day three, you're going to work on your upper body again, but this time you're working on the following muscle groups. The testimus dorsi, which is your back muscles, rhomboids, which is also your back muscles, triceps, which is your arm muscle, but that's actually on the back side of your biceps, and your deltoid, which is your shoulder muscles. Tips on how to do a muscular endurance workout. The first tip, warm up and cool down. Now, be, make sure you warm up before the workout and 
cool down after your workout. It is very important that you do these two, so that way your muscles are not sore and you avoid any type of injuries. Second tip, focus on doing correct form of exercise. On the workout video, not only is it gonna show you how to do the workout, but also how to do, it tells you how to do the workout. Third tip, make sure you breathe in as you lift and breathe out as you release. In other words, make sure you inhale as you lift and exhale as you release. The next tip, rest for about 30 to 60 seconds between exercises. And the last tip that I have for you today, make sure that you rest your muscles uh, you worked out the next day, which means that's why I, the muscular endurance workouts have been divided into three different days. So that way you get to rest the muscles that you worked out the day before. All right, so when you go to the workout video, if you see the screen background look like this, that means that it's in demonstration mode. Now, do not do the exercise when the background is in this color. It's actually showing you a demonstration. Not only is it showing you how to do the exercise, but it's also telling you how to do the exercise as well. If you see the background like this, which is blue, that means that it's your turn to do the workout. While the screen is blue, go ahead and do the workout at the same time when the background is blue. After the exercise is completed, then you're going to see a question that looks like this. While you're resting, make sure you answer the question just to review the first component of physical fitness, which is cardiovascular endurance. All right, now go ahead and get out of this video lesson and go on to day one of the muscular endurance workout. You're gonna to go to that video workout and go ahead and complete that workout. After you are done with that, then come back to this video lesson so you could do challenge number three. Now, don't forget that tomorrow you're doing day two of the muscular endurance workout. And then the following day, you're doing day three of the muscular endurance workout. Once you complete all three muscular endurance workouts in three separate days, that means that you pass challenge number two. Hip, hip, hooray! All right, challenge number three, show what you know. After watching this lesson, go to the Google form. Answer the questions on the Google form. And don't forget to hit submit. After you have completed the Google form, that means that you pass challenge number three. Hip, hip, hooray! Bonus challenge, a one minute muscular endurance workout on video. You're going to complete the workout video that you just did, and then send me a one minute workout video of yourself doing a muscular endurance. Send the video on Google Classroom by attaching it to the lesson when you click on Mark has done. And your bonus challenge might appear on the all new top 10 next time. The next lesson, we're going to review muscular endurance, and then we're going to do a muscular endurance workout, part two, with a combination of cardio. And then you're going to, uh, I'm going to introduce to you the third component of physical fitness, which is muscular strength. Now you're going to need a meal carton with dirt or sand inside. Make sure you seal the meal carton and or you could get, you could use a basketball. All right, I'll see you soon for lesson number four. Goodbye, everyone.